Okay, folks, on tonight's uh, episode of Ugly Dog Lures, we're going to do something just a little bit different. Probably something you've never seen before, but we're going to have some fun and do it anyway. Don't matter, it's just a little old square wheel bait. It won't take us long, so what do you say we get to trucking and see what happens here? We're going to be using a transparent yellow. This is a smooth satin. It's a, a plaid FX paint and it's in a neon green. Then we're going to have a little bit of orange in this bait also. So we got our brush all cleaned out and ready to go and I've already primed this lure so we skipped that little spot. So I already had it primed and hanging up on the shelf. So folks, I want y'all to, to focus back behind me. This is how my week has been. If you look right here, these are all lures that are finished and ready to be packaged and shipped. So if you have any, see any of them you want, just go to uglydoglures.com and uh, let the boss lady know you want them and she'll get them out to you. So let's get started here. So we're going to hit this dude with some yeller. Now let's get this yeller on this bait right quick. I'm going to paint my fingers. I don't really care because my hands will wash. So, see there folks, we got a first coat on it. So we'll heat set this paint right quick and then we'll hit it with another coat. Alright, let's throw another coat on it. for a second and we're going to brush our brush out right quick and while she's drying we'll get everything ready to go on the next coat which the next coat is going to be this green this one right here and then for the finishing effects we'll have a little bit of orange underneath that belly we're going to go ahead and Either give this bait bait scales or we're gonna give it a stripe. Y'all vote and tell me what y'all want. You want scales or a stripe? I like scales. You want scales. Okay. Scales it is. The boss has spoken. Okay folks, we're gonna set that to the side and let her dry for a minute while we get our scaling materials gathered up and out and cut. So well, this is what I use for scale. I don't know what it's called, my wife could tell you. It looks like scales to me, so that's what I use. It's tool. Tool? It's tool, that's what it is. I'm gonna get over here and get some scissors. And just cut us a little piece out of there. Now I want this bait to be really, really good and dry before I ever put the scale material on it. So we're going to go ahead and get our next color mixed up and ready to go while we're waiting on that to dry really good. So just a little bit of this green. That's all it's going to take. going on here that's gonna be an interesting bait folks something off the wall and different Sticky. So we'll just give it a few minutes and then we'll go at it. 
Okay, folks, we got her good and dry now, so we're going to get our scale material and start laying it up on here. And we're only going to scale this thing, the top, and just a little bit down the sides. That's really all I want to scale it, so let's take our scissors. Let's trim a little bit of that off back there. And just lay that dude up in there. Get her good and tight. Yeah, that looks good right there. Take this another piece on there. And just keep on going down it. Okay, folks, we got her scaled up. So let's get our gun. Get us a little bit of this pretty green paint here. Ain't gonna take much. Then jump in here. Start blowing that green. And we'll heat set it and throw another coat on it. Alright. So look at that there. This is absolutely going to be a different bait from what I'm used to painting. But it's kind of cool. Okay, the moment of truth. Can't hardly see the yellow under there until we epoxy it, but you can sure tell it's got scales. So, once we epoxy it, it'll really, really stand out. Okay, so now on to our very last color, and that's just a little orange. Right under the, the chin there, so let's uh, get that thought out of there. Get us about three drops of orange in there and mix it up right quick and we'll spray it and then we'll heat set it all and we'll epoxy it here in about 15 or 20 minutes and see what we got. Cool. See that go all over my shirt, did you? <laughs> okay. I just barely want a little bit of orange there. Can you see that? it up just a little bit okay that took care of that folks so we're gonna let her dry good and then we're gonna pox it here in about 15 minutes okay folks it's dry now it's been about 15 minutes after I heat set it. I let it set over there in the window with the wind blowing on it. So we're going to peel the tape off the bill. And, uh, you know, folks, I, I've said it once or twice before. If you get a little paint on the bill, 
it's not hard to clean off. You just get a little acetone on a paper towel and just clean your bills. It don't take but a second. And it works really nice and it'll shine them right up. So tonight this little bake's gonna get red eyes. So let's get some eyes put on it. Let me get my old toothpick over here. If I can get it. So let's pull us a couple of red eyes off of here. To put on this bait. Well, there's one on already. That was pretty quick for an old feller. So let's put this other one on. Man, I'm getting good at that. That toothpick help, helps a lot when you're doing that, folks. So there's our little red-eyed, green-scaled, yellow to orange bait right there. So let's get some epoxy and put on him and see how, how he looks after he's epoxied. Uh, this epoxy is going to have a neon yellow glitter in it, so it's going to be pretty cool. So one cc of each. We're just doing one bait. add a little bit of this fancy glitter in there I'm a 53 year old man folks and I play with glitter I don't know whether to be happy about that or ashamed so, let's get her stirred up real good here because I can always hold it by the bill. So, well, folks, let's uh, epoxy it and see what we come up with here. This has kind of been a fun little paint to do. Uh, sometimes a man just needs to waste some time, you know, to kind of get through his week. So I can already tell you right now I'd fish it. nice little bait and I think somebody will want it. Oh well, y'all folks see I go back over the bait and go back over the bait and go back over the bait. Sometimes I may go over that bait three to four times trying to make sure everything's covered and everything's good and smooth. Get some good epoxy in there around them eyes and clean up around that eye hook. And there's the product folks. We'll let that dry overnight and see what we got in the morning. I kind of like it. It's very different. You can see the scale in it very good. I kind of like it. But I'm kind of strange. Okay, folks, this is a, another one that's finished up. And it's just a square bill. It'll run three to five feet under the water. And you just reel it. It's got number six hooks, number six uh keepers on it and uh, this is one that we call a citrus shad so there it is I hope you enjoyed this video so, it's got a scale pattern in the top of it so there she goes citrus shad <laughs>